Minotaur last pick here for our Q Hoshi. <laughs> so now we know exactly where things are falling into place, right? Of course, um, this provides them a lot of that sustainability still based off the heroes that they have and a lot of CC. So it's a good thing that Burmese Ghouls has that Faramis, right? Because they're going to want to use that, uh, that Cult Altar to really help them survive a lot of this. Yeah, they're already anticipating that this is going to be an all-out brawl between them and RRQ. I mean, looking at the, the lineup here of RRQ, you got the Minotaur, the Guinevere. This is what's really good about the Guinevere, too. I think this might actually be the Irad's hero, right? So um, as yeah, long as yeah. the Guinevere has someone to front for you, you can just keep the game. Yeah, which is interesting, right? Because we're talking about the uh, aggression from both of these teams, but mm -hmm. and that's a that's not going to find the uh, connection they're looking for. But hold on, still mm -hmm. pressure. Oh, what a time. huge! I'm offended into the heavy spin, able to get the lockdown. Irad going to be the one to go down. First blood going to the hands of Burmese ghouls. What a set there from Blink, utilizing the flicker combination with the I'm offended. Still going to be up here on the top side, but they should be fine for now. What a play! Yeah, just when we were talking about no first blood, kind of called it there. Uh, nice tuck in there. Flicker was available for Blink, and he was able to do that. And now Banana Ooh. in trouble. Ooh, this is what I was talking about, though. One for one trade off onto the bottom side. Right, for these goals. That's kind of what they have to do. But Bruce going down on the other side. Uh, well, time and and Fury is going to help them out. And not only that, but they have the extra. CC available to them with Irad's yeah. kit. Dragon form going to come down, still be working for this turtle. Second one, Sox able to secure it. Gets a lockdown now on Irad. He's kind of stuck between the wall. He'll get taken out by Delar. And there's nothing RQ could do there. So right now, Burmese Ghouls just kind of letting them take control of this space. Blink not going to commit. There's a dragon mm -hmm. form finally going for the initiation. Huge Ooh, step nice there one. from Brusco, though, with the flicker, Minoian Fury. Now they're going to be battling now. Still looking for a kill to fall here, though, as both gold laners trying to make it away. Delar will finally fall. Stitch now joining the fight. Irad taking a couple shots. He's a, almost there, but another knockup yeah, comes through as Irad falls. It's a double for Stitch, though. But Skylar finally gets a kill as well. And now the mid lane turret goes down next. They find wins on both sides here, but RQ pulling out just a little bit ahead. Now Soxa buff can be worked on, and he's deleted Ooh. by Banana, gets <laughs> whittled down quickly. And that is tough for them. Stitch now the answer here with Blink still. Banana gonna be able to get away from the I'm offended. Wow, so much back and forth here, Kim. Yeah, we kind of expected this coming out. All out brawl from the side, a Burmy school, big win though. There was a trade from RQ Hoshi on the middle lane, so that's uh, also pretty big for them to give that map control towards oh. their side. Right now, that is big, because RQ Hoshi Flicker here. They want to go for the pressure here on the mid side. They're stuck no. in by Blink. Able to get the pole here, but he's still going to be able to get, stay alive through it all. Nether Realm comes down too. Dragon Form there to cut him off a little bit. Delar though, takes quite a few shots. No one goes down in the exchange. Big item picks up as well. The Flask of the Oasis now for Brusco. Sustainability going to be there, and they're getting another turret as well. The oh, jump in yeah. from Irad finds the Requiem. Now Banana also unleashing. Stitch able to get the kill, but it's Nico that falls. Two down for Burmese Ghouls and RQ. Looking to end game number one here, working Thank on you. the crystal. Can Burmese Ghouls clear the waves, keep it together? They find a little bit of room to work with. Blink's the one to fall, but Skylar has so much damage on this Bruno, and that looks like it's going to be it as RRQ takes game number one. Ow! Just when we thought that it could have been at least like a more more than 15 minutes game, that was actually a pretty fast game there from RRQ. Both sides were actually they actually calculated all of their their I'm clash. Like there was the flex available, right? And and they kind of left that open because the rock was taken out. So they kind of adjust from there. They pick up the Baksha, um, you know, just assuming, you know, we might as well fight utility for utility in the jungle and kind of try to win some of those objective fights, those dances. The Minotaur is going to be locked in once again. This is very tanky Ooh. for RQ Hoshi, right? Yeah. And they could find themselves in a position that Burmese Ghouls in was in. Should be fine as well. And one thing that's great about the Minotaur, especially later on when he kind of rushes that Flask of the Oasis, it is tough to deal with, but hold on. Brusco could be the one in trouble as he's gonna go down a first blood. Now Arad in trouble yeah. as well. Two kills now for Burmese Ghouls. Exactly. Two after that, those first two pickoffs actually, they're kind of wow. having a hard time here. 
they knew he was there. Brusco once again going to be the focus. They forget the turtle for now. They want to get the kills here. The pull comes through. Irad could be in trouble, but look at the response. Now Blink has to get oh. out of there. He's the one to fall from Okta. Now still going to be fighting it out for more. Irad the one to fall. Still bloodied here. One HP. Banana trying to get away, but it's Nico that falls. It's a double for Soxa. So onto the turtles. Uh, winning in all of these clashes. They should be okay. Oh. You see Nico actually popping in. Wow. With a bit of the Nana, but it's going to be Irad actually stealing it away. Yeah. And Dalar still wants some more, though. He's the one to flicker in. Now has to continue the fight. Nico jumps in as well, trying to find him back. But on the run, Appraiser's Wrath comes down. Okta flickers in. Dalar somehow still alive. <laughs> but Banana goes in and gets the kill. Still going to be looking oh, for the more. Burst. They find Blink as well. RRQ able to find two kills when really, Inside I mean... Inside of Burmese schools, uh, I think RRQ oh, she knew that they're going to be aggressive. They kind of answered out to their aggression. Oh. Stitch in trouble here? Man, it's not easy. You got all these three heroes to add up to the, the burst that they have. And now, RRQ Hoshi right now, a little bit aggressive, going to the jungle side of the Burmese schools. Yeah. Okay, Nico not going to be able to connect on his own. I'm offended, but Brusco now taking the brunt of the damage. Still, will he be able to get away? He doesn't as Blink gets the kill. So still, a lot of back... up against Burmese schools. They, were able, they managed to be able to take in the space. And mind you, this is a clone you're talking about. Blink, going to try to go in for Banana, Banana here. Oh, he's actually okay. He is not going to be able to get away. <laughs> Great setup once again. Spatial migration into the Requiem. Able to get a kill now on the bottom side. They're going to focus. Doing the work. But nothing committing just yet. They're going to back mm -hmm. off. Socks are going in with the rest of the team. Nico has the guy I'm offended himself. Goes in right for Brusco. Brusco waiting for the team to come in. Delar goes in. One, two punch. Gets the kill. And Brusco out of the picture here. Now down a member. Here Burmese. from Burmese schools. But the also understands that he kind of needs to take back the space that RQ Hoshi has been taking. And so far, he's doing in the split push. Pretty much what the Burmese schools oh. has been doing even in the group stage. Here comes the last turtle though. Blink. Blink could be in trouble here. Skylar going in with Blazing Duet. Going to force him back. Irad able to get the turtle, though, off of it. So they're happy with it. Dalar able to get the next turret down in the bottom side. So the trade at cross-map objectives for now. Was that worth it? Is that the good call for Burmese Ghouls here? Yes. Yeah. Building up enough time for this thing for Skylar here. Now, mm -hmm. once again in the mid lane, they want to go ahead and duke it out. Brusco taking a ton of damage, goes That's in with a the jump, goal. gets the Minoan Fury as well. But look at the backside. Nico's going to be the one to fall. And now Irad holding Stitch back. Blink trying to help him out. Skylar now joined the fight. Appraiser's Wrath going to come down. It's Stitch that falls there in the jungle. So RQ clapping back, looking forward to. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> Delart, uh, you tried. There it goes. Yep. Well, he was successful, though. He was able to take down that uh, second-tier tower there on the on the bottom side. And if you look at the goal, too... Some of these situations. Okta picking up a Divine Glaive as well. Minoyan Fury with the Flicker combination goes through. Uh -huh, look Soxa. at them getting whittled down. Sox could be in trouble. There's the knock-up, though, and he's able to get her out with the BMI. Now Sox is the one to fall into wow. the jungle. Delar trying to get the punches off here, but he's got to respect the damage. I'm offended. Not going to connect. And they might still just pull it back. Still 30 seconds away from and this... RQ knows what's up. Delar also positioning here. They're going to have to go for it. Appraiser's Wrath going to come down. Irad able to secure it, though. Gets the Lord. And now Sox, left to his own, will fall into the river. Now Blink in trouble. Gets I'm Offended combinationed here. Flickers on out. Delar couldn't do anything yes. but... Enhanced Lord for the side of RRQ. They can take all of the inhibitors here. They don't oh. have a good amount of burst to take down the front lane. line. Yeah. But here comes Irad. Irad going to get... He's going to get pulled. He has the immortality, but there's the Minion Fury going to be jumped in. Look at the damage, though, coming out from Skylar. Able to get the kill on Soxa. Brusco is the one to fall from Delar, though, so it's a one for one for now. Can they hold it together? Blink going to be able to jump in. Takes quite a bit of damage to himself. The Flicker comes through, and he's keeping him at bay. Lord finally going to go down. Nico has to run out of there, buy some time, some space, but he ultimately dies, and they hold on to a sliver of health on this turret for a little bit longer. Delar trying to keep the Minion at bay, man. Banana jumps in, finds the connection. But look at the damage from Delar. The one-two punch isn't enough to get a kill, though. And now RQ looking to end the game, looking to end the series here. Can they do it? Three down for Burmese Ghouls. It looks like they're going to take the discipline. Get out real fast, too. So at this point, everybody has everything that they got to the point that Irad's already chunking uh -oh. up all of the damage. Gets dug in, though. Wow. 
Irrat already taking a ton of damage. Immortality going to be popped. Blink as well. Still has his. Can they pull it off? Look at the damage. Delar going to be taken out really quickly. Skylar on the backside still going. Lord's still going to be up here. They want all the kills before they end the game. It's a triple for Skylar, and they take the series in a sweep, sending Burmese ghouls out of the tournament. To think that they thought that Burmese schools going back to their identity, it did work out for them. Actually, it did. They they took back the space early to mid game, but unfortunately for the side of uh, RQ Hoshi, the damage when it came to the late game.